Hello everybody, I'm Bruce Kyle. I'm an architect evangelist with Microsoft. I work with software companies in the Pacific Northwest of the United States, and I'm here today with Kent Sisko, who's a software engineer for Epson. Kent, tell us a little bit about what your project is. Well, this project is uh, what we call uh, mark sheets. Um, uh, people should be familiar with these uh, mark sheets uh, based on their uh, education in the United States, where you've uh, been used to taking multiple choice tests uh, where you see uh, uh, questions and uh, bubbles, check boxes, etc., on a document uh, that's printed out, you fill that out, and then uh, when that document is uh, uh, going to be graded, uh, you throw it on a scanner, it creates an image, and then we lift that data off that uh, image and populate it into a, a storage uh, uh, database of some sort. In the so, cloud. so what kind of, and it's in the cloud, so what, where are you? Where you, where's this app live? Uh, the app lives in uh, Windows Azure. Um, we use uh, the Windows Azure Fabric and uh, SQL Azure. Uh, processing and uh, data storage all uh, work uh, is running up in Windows Azure. Okay, why don't you show it to us? Okay. Okay, this application is uh, built around mark sheets. Um, that, and uh, we, we've created it specifically for use at a golf course. <laughs> It doesn't have to be just golf courses. You actually have an environment where you can uh, create any kind of cor it courses. Uh, right, yeah. Well, you can create any kind of application to um, uh, be created around a mark sheet. For example, um, in the uh, ER at a, uh, a general hospital, um, you could create a, a medical uh, uh, forms uh, selector. Um, that allows you to pick all the forms that are pertinent to that kind of environment. Um, you could do that for inventory control um, and you know other vertical markets. In this classrooms, classrooms yeah. In this in this case, we're we're looking at golf. So a uh, end user after the SI has created this application and created the um, markable uh, documents, the end user would come in and or the golfer would come and select their course. Uh, they'd select their scoring uh, model. In this case, we'll select um, a tournament, and then we come in and we can select a skin. We'll select this uh, green one here, and then we preview it, and you can take a look at what this is going to look like. There's two golfers in this thing that will be um, uh, recording their scores hole by hole, and in this case, we've used uh, bubbles. Um, you can actually place on a mark sheet uh, any type of shape that you define, any region that is a, a markable region. And then we uh, simply select print, and it prints out our um, uh, mark sheet. OK, and we print, send it to the printer. So we're printing out the guy's score sheet right now. That's right. And then we'll take this score sheet out with us to the golf course and uh, play a round of golf, mark it up. And okay. Um, so here's what it looks like. And we just fold it up into this kind of. So it looks like a little golf scorecard kind of thing that you can take with you. And we use this little holder here to give us a firm backing. And I'm going to play golf really well here. Uh, actually, no, I'll play really sloppy. Um, let's go. And, you know, you can make all kinds of markings on here. It doesn't matter. Um, it'll, it's smart enough to understand what we're doing. Um, okay. All righty. So I've marked it up. Bring it back to the uh, clubhouse. Back to this little kiosk we've got going here. And I slam that into the ADF. And we uh, actually, before we do this, because this information is going directly to Azure um, and then being processed up there and then storing the data up there, we just need to take a look at our uh, Azure Online. As you can see, the, the last posting we made was um, 421, which was yesterday. 
shot an awesome round of golf there. Uh, kind of crappy a couple days ago. Um, so now we'll go back and we'll hit F5. Retry. Okay, that's the data that's up there currently. Now we go back to our screen here and we scan this thing. And what will what what's happening here is this information is the image will be uh, scanned. That image will be taken up to the cloud, processed there, and then the the uh, information will be lifted off that that image and then thrown into a SQL Azure table. And then that SQL Azure table will actually see that information in our online uh, website. So now what's coming back as the processing is happening, um, we're going to receive back an image that will be able to print here locally while also having the information in the cloud. So what we're seeing here is the information that's... Uh, so this is my round here. We didn't score anything for golfer number one. Um, and then um, it has some graphs and charts and stuff, and you can actually see how it's uh, marked up. Taking that information uh, marked it up, graded wow. it correctly, and then we go back to our uh, uh, Azure Online, and we hit F5, and there we go, 46, 4, 4, uh, 422, 2010, there's my score, and uh, obviously we need some more uh, uh, design work going on here. Um, but uh, this is just to simply show you how easy it is to go from paper uh, to the cloud with uh, data and you can do all the munging you want to do. Pretty cool. So thanks for the demo, Ken. What would you tell a developer who is getting started about some of the lessons that you learned while you were developing for Windows Azure? Uh, I would say uh, not to make the mistakes we were making. Um, definitely take a look at the... Um, the videos that you guys have already created, the ones from uh, Steve Marks and uh, Ryan Dunn and those guys, uh, make sure you have a good, uh, solid understanding of what's going on up there. And then uh, you won't run into the little uh, gotchas that we ran into, think, just making all these assumptions that it should work this way. Mm -hmm. um, that, that's probably the number one thing. There really wasn't anything else that we ran into since our application really is a, a simple application. It's just mm -hmm. uh, C-based code, uh, C-sharp, uh, based uh, .NET uh, code, and uh, you just throw it up there, and it works. Pretty cool. Yeah. Well, thanks, Ken. I appreciate it. We'll uh, see you next time.